<laughs> Cut it. Cut it! Cut it. Everybody. It's Kay with MK Motor Riders. Thank you for coming back to the channel. Sorry we've been gone for a while. We don't ride in the off season and today was a beautiful day and we are finally out and enjoying the weather. So today we are going to do an install for my motorcycle, a low rider ST. We're going to be installing the Advan Black Saddlebag LED lights. Let's do it. So we're gonna go over all the items that come in the box from Advent Black. Um, you're gonna get your instructions. You're gonna get the two LED lights, which are marked um, down here at the bottom for if it's left, left or right. Um, you'll get uh, some zip ties, alcohol pads, cable holders. Here's the harness and then some other, other literature that uh, came with it. It seems like this is going to be a toolless install, um, but we'll figure that out as we go along. So if you're gonna follow the instructions, it's going to tell you to, well, one, you need to remove the motorcycle seat, which we've already done, and then you're supposed to clean this area and then install the lights. But what we're gonna do is work backwards Make sure that all the wiring is done first. Make sure that the lights work before we make it a permanent fixture on the bike. Because once you peel back the 3M tape and stick it to the bike, it's probably going to be harder to remove. And what if it doesn't work? So we're going to start at the end. So one of the first things is they tell you uh, figure four, figure five is in this area. You want to locate and disconnect the black lightning connector at the front of the air under seat area. So here you can see that there's two plugs here. One is marked with a yellow tape and one is with a red tape. So these are the two that you're going to remove. Now there are two different harnesses. This one is the shorter. This is what we're going to plug in first. So to do that, you want to just slide slide this piece through. See, so this is a gray. There's black and gray. Um, so you want to just remove the plug. And then you want to do the same thing with the black. You can slide it out. And then there's a clip in the back. You just want to press down and then remove it. So now I'm going to plug in the harness into the two plugs in the bike. The gray is the left. So the part that is left, I want to make sure you're doing this right. So this is the piece that you're going to push down. So you want to put this down that it matches what's happening in back here. Once you hear a snap, it's in place. And then the black is for right. Let's turn that around. Again, if you hear it click, it's in. Okay. And the two wires that were attached to the bike, you will now plug in here, which doesn't really tell you which is the left or the right, but I guess we'll test it out. Okay. There. have the two wires that will connect to the LED lights. 
So now we're going to uh, plug in the LED lights. Um, I'm not gonna unwrap the whole thing, but you should notice there is the left and right at the bottom of the light, so you know which way it plugs. I'm gonna take this one, and as you have these separated, make sure that the, the left is on the correct side. Plug this in. Again, if you hear it snap, it's in. Set that down. Same thing here. Okay. So now we're just going to test and make sure that the lights work before we put them permanently on the motorcycle. So now I'm going to test to make sure that the brake lights will actually turn on, which they do. There's the right turn signal and left turn signal. Yay! All right, so we've connected everything. We know that the lights work. Um, this extra plug is not going to be used. Um, we are actually just going to cover it with electrical tape. And if there are additional accessories that become available to um, from Advent Black that could connect to this, we could potentially use it in the future. Also, um, one of the things that the instructions say is when you're testing out the lights and if the lights are reversed, um, you just need to switch up the connections here. But one of the things that we got from the website is, you see this green um, wire? The green wire is connected to the left. We know that when you first had this connected, the yellow uh, tape was for the left side. So you just wanna make sure that the left um, side is connected to the yellow side. So then you know that your connections are correct. Unless you're colorblind, then you won't even know the colors. So you're just gonna have to test it out to see if it works. It's my little helper. His name is Leahy. He's a Cavapoo and he's 10 months old. Welcome to the family. Okay, so next what we're gonna do is clean the saddlebags, the bottom of the saddlebags, which is where the attachment um, of the wires are gonna be. You don't wanna use any um, cleaner, like motorcycle cleaner. You would just wanna use warm soap and water and just wanna clean the area that the lights are gonna stick to. Clean down here at the bottom. Oh. Okay, and also you want to uh, make sure everything dries. The packet also comes with these alcohol pads, so you also want to use the alcohol pads just to, to keep the area um, clean as well. So you want to do this on both sides, and then we'll work on getting the lights attached. So I cleaned the right saddlebag. I removed all the plastic from the, uh, the light. Again, this is for the right. And what's nice is when you try to position this, you, you, know, you wanna make sure that you have it in the right spot. But what's nice is this uh, light has a curve at the bottom. And when you put it up against the saddlebag, it sits nicely right at the bottom here. So you really don't have to guess as to where it needs to be placed on the, the saddlebag, but it has to be on the glossy side. It's not gonna be here on the, uh, on the plastic. It's gonna be on this side, on the outer side. So what you'll do is you wanna take your nail, you wanna just scratch this, make sure this uh, activates the glue and then you want to take your alcohol pad. 
and you want to wipe the spot where you're going to place it. You want to make sure this dries before you, you do anything. And again, you just want to make sure, just run your nail over the 3M tape to activate the glue. Peel it back. And again, make sure that the curve is down. And just press it for about 30 seconds. So I was told to say that some idiot forgot to hit record, um, but we've already attached the cable holders underneath. Now each side, the right and the left, are going to have different configurations as to how you're putting these cable holders. You get 10 in total, so you're going to use five each. I've attached one on the glossy side. This is the right. I've cleaned this area with soap and water. I've used the alcohol wipes. Everything's dry. So then I attach the first one on the on the glossy side of the saddlebag. And then the next three get attached to just the plastic um, side of the saddlebag. The last one is going to cross over underneath and get attached on this side. Um, the side that's closest to the bike, but we'll show you that once we've buttoned up this area. So I finished attaching the other uh, cable holder on the inner part of the saddlebag. So you can see here, my handiwork. I pulled everything tight and then used the zip ties to uh, make sure everything is secure. Now I've got this connection here that is ready to attach to the right side. So I'm going to go ahead and clip that in. Oops. So I'm going to run this down underneath since the seat has to go on top of it. Harder than I thought. I might need to remove the back of the saddlebag. I think I'll do that. Okay. I thought I could do it that way. So. All right. Then remove it all the way, but just enough. Here a click since it's in. Oh, there it is. There's the click. Okay, put the saddlebag back on. Put things in place. Make sure it's locked. All right, one side done. So we're gonna rinse and repeat on the left side. And while we are taking care of that, um, please take the time to like and subscribe to the channel if you have any questions or comments about our video please leave us a message and we will get back to you on it so we're going to finish the other side and we'll get back to you in a, in a moment so i'm just finishing up attaching these uh, cable holders to the left side of the saddlebag we wanted to show you the difference of the uh, the cable management on this side because the the inner part of the saddlebag for the left and the right are different. The right is flat. This is the left. This one is not. So you've got this curve here. So the way the configuration is happening on this side, there's two here on the glossy side. There's a cable holder here. I'm going to put another one in here and then the last one's going to fit on this side. Probably we're thinking, well, why is it so much lower compared to the other side? Based on the directions, that's 
how they want it. And I guess why they, why there's this curve is probably has something to do with whatever, whatever mechanics are on the left side. So to not create any problems by putting any of the cable management here, I'm just gonna follow the directions and just follow the placement inside this part. We've buttoned everything up, seat is back on, now it's the moment of truth. Left turn signal. Right turn signal. Hazards. Brake lights. And she's directionally dyslexic, but that's okay. What did I say? Left turn signal and right turn signal. <laughs> We're backwards. <laughs> you know what I mean. Anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching, everybody. We're going to actually show you what it looks like at night. Right now, it's about uh, quarter to seven. We have a little bit of time, so it'll be a couple hours. We'll come back to you. Thanks! All right, it is about nine o'clock. Um, it's not completely dark outside, but it's dark enough. So let's test the lights. Right light. Right turn signal. Left turn signal. Hazards. brakes this is the cool thing I don't think we notice it very often but that's what happens now that uh, we have these additional brake lights looks good doesn't it thanks for watching we really appreciate it if you have any questions or comments let us know um, like subscribe to the channel thanks for watching again and ride safe